Ladies and gentlemen, I am Nabil, and today we are not starting Season 2. Um, ignore the deer running through the building. Uh, so we are not starting Season 2 tonight. We are, however, going to do something that should be uh, close to as entertaining as the beginning of Season 2. Uh, today, uh, after we get this plane started, let's see, let's go ahead and remove the static elements. And while I'm starting the aircraft, we will talk about what we are doing today. Make sure the avionics are off. Let's go ahead and that is the prop. Mix uh, mixture is full, full rich, about an inch of uh, of throttle. Oh, and let's go ahead and turn on our magnetos. And. Advance the throttle slowly until there we go. The engine is started. Go ahead and throttle back down to idle. Crank on our avionics. Wow, the avionics really put a hurting on our uh, on our frames per second, which is too bad. I think. Let's try that again. Avionics off. FPS is a very high number. Can I? Can I fly without the avionics? Is it possible to turn just the GPS off? That is... That's very interesting. Because um, I kind of want some of them. Avionics on, and there goes the frames per second. Very weird. Very weird. Can I... Oh, there isn't much I can do. Huh. Weird. Anyway, let's go ahead and, and minimize that. The avionics dropped us... What does it do? Let's see. Yep, from 22 frames to 17. It cost me 4 frames, but that's okay. Um, in a second, I will... There we go. Brighten up the cluster. Okay, so let's talk about what we're doing today, first of all. This is a Cessna, this is the Carinado Cessna 206. And the reason that we are in it is because we are going to do some FS economy stuff today. Um, and why are we doing FS economy? Well, because A, I want to, and B, because I, <coughs> excuse me, have started a new FS economy group called I Am Nabil Aviation, or something like that. And uh, so the idea behind the group is that it is an open group um, so that anyone who wants to uh, can join. And there isn't really any requirement outside of if you want to join, feel free. Um, but the hope is that it will uh, that we'll specialize in these sort of smaller planes tooling around. And the idea is that it will give us something to do when we aren't actively working on... Um, something more interesting, something uh, bigger for the Season 2 stuff. And it will give you guys a way to, to interact um, maybe a bit more fully with, with things that happen in the channel. Uh, we're going to go ahead and back taxi a little way down this runway. Now, the flight today is from um, KPOY, that is uh, Powell in Wyoming, and we are flying to Jackson Hole. We need to climb to 12,500 feet to get over some of the mountains that are going to be in the way. Uh, and this is actually attempt number two at this. And there we go. We're on the runway. And we'll throttle up. Pull back our prop to a not overspeeding uh, uh, RPM. And then throttle to full. And double check my trim. There we go, it's nice and centered. 60 knots, let's go ahead and gently pull back on the stick. And up we go. And we are climbing. All right. And we're gonna bank right. And there we go, trim it for a nice, nice gentle climb. See, we 
want our course to be... Oh. It actually rolled out of that bank. It's torque. Torque has that effect. Alright, and here we go. on course. I'm going to go ahead and arm our altitude. And I'm going to go ahead and tell it that I want to climb at a vertical speed of 600 feet a minute. And there we go. Alright, and we're on our way up. I'm going to, I'm going to brighten this a little bit. There we go. Okay, we're on course. We're climbing up to our desired altitude. I have this on altitude encoding. We're good there. Um, prop looks good. Fuel flow is a little bit rich. May be able to pull that back a bit. There we go. 20 gallons an hour. And we are climbing at 70 knots. Um, now, if we take a look at the flight plan, do I have the whole thing in here? I do. All right. Um, but. It's calling for an hour and 16 minutes, but that'll obviously drop once we start to, to accelerate. Um, call that vertical speed 500 feet a minute. And I'm going to go ahead and bring my flaps up, because I don't need those down anymore. And we should see our speed increase. Alright, so let's talk about FS economy. Um, most of you sort of know what it is. It's like a, an online career mode for, for flight simulators. And it could be X-Plane, or FSX, or P3D. Um, it doesn't really matter what it is, although uh, I, I don't know if you can use it with um, with flight gear, but if you can, cool, and if not, you can't. Um, this is X-Plane, and if you're noticing the white stuff in the background, that is snow. Um, I have winter textures installed because it is winter, and right now we're in friggin' Wyoming, and Wyoming has snow. So, um, in FS Economy, let's take a look at my groups real quick. So I have created a group called I Am Nabil Aviation. Pretty simple group, right? Um, and the the actual stuff in it, um, first of all, to, to find it, if you go to, to groups, all groups, and then search for I Am Nabil, it'll show up. Um, and the pilot fee is 75%. We can talk about that, I guess, now. Uh, the idea is that for every, uh, every flight that you fly, 25% um, of, of your um, pay will go into the group, and then the other 75% will go to you. And the reason I've got that so high uh, for now, and I'll probably lower it later, is because I would like to, uh, as soon as possible, um, start paying for a couple of leases for airplanes so that uh, the group will have something interesting to use that will be sort of always available. Um, and we, I have, uh, I have one gate leased right now, and that is in Powell, Wyoming. Um, and of course, we can lease other gates in other areas. And the idea is that you fly around, make money for the team, um, have a little bit of fun, and you know, you get to share your exploits. So it's, I think, it, I think it could be fun. How's that? Do I know if it will be fun? No, but I think it could be. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these reflections. I had to close my cowl flaps, and I think I think that's basically it for now. Um, I'm going to there we go. Go ahead and grab the nav. Haven't almost haven't followed the GPS, um, and we're going to climb up to altitude as we cross the uh, as we cross the mountains around Jackson Hole. I will probably come back, but for now. Um, I'm going to stop the recording, and I'll see you guys, uh, at the very least, for the descent down into Jackson Hole. Alright, so we are at the top of our climb, and as you can see, we have 26 minutes left. Now, the problem, if you can call it that, is that uh, those, those hills look to be higher than we are. 
Uh, now, nothing around here is supposed to be higher than 12.5. 12.5 is, um, is the minimum safe altitude for, um, for this area, but I don't know. It still kind of looks a little skeezy. So, uh, what we're going to do, I think, is climb to 13,000. start worrying about hypoxia. There we go. We're going to climb at 200 feet a minute. And I am going to turn on the oxygen. There we go. Oxygen is on. And uh, now we're going to you know, go ahead and climb over this. I really do like these winter textures, by the way. It, it really changes the feel of the game. Alright, and let's see if we are almost up to 13,000 feet, and, and now it's looking like we'll probably clear the top of those mountains, so that's good. Um, let's see. Well, I've got all of these states taking a look at on my video card, and so, I, like I said before, I'm not a hardware guy, so I have no idea what it's, what it's telling me I can do, but, but I have no damn idea. Uh, but I just told it to manage all of its own stuff. I guess it will go ahead and manage its own stuff. Oh, I love this. The, the scenery is just good. You know? It feels like winter. It feels cold. Which is fitting, because it's winter. Oh, let's see. Uh, our distance to DNW is 53 miles, so... Here we go. Yeah, we'll clear these mountains just fine. Uh, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I don't know. Should I stop the recording? I'm not looking at this beat super long recording tonight. Uh, really, I wanted to, you know, uh, emphasize the idea that there's a, an FS economy group um, for all of us, all of, the, all of us wayward flight sim children, um, and to, you know, give you a peek. So, I don't know, do you guys really want to see all of this? I don't know. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I, uh, I just wanted to show you we're at 13,000 feet, um, which is, you know, we, we climbed to that because the 12.5 that the chart said didn't seem high enough, and uh, this is what the ridge looks like that we're flying over, so not, not a whole lot of extra altitude, you know? Um, I'm pretty glad that I added the extra uh, altitude, I guess is my point. Because this would have been suboptimal, I think. So, yeah. All right, we'll be back. All right. Uh, so we are approaching the top of our descent. So I'm going to show you what our approach is going to look like. We are sort of here-ish right now. Uh, when we get to Dunwar, we're going to descend to 11,000 feet. Uh, for Zibiv, 
And then from there we'll be at 9,800 for Zosov, uh, 8,700 for Wamru, 8,000 even for Yasku. And then from there it'll just be a visual approach, so we should be good to go. Um, and that means that we should get our VNAV set up. So I've already had it go through and do the math. And basically if we're descending at 500 feet a minute, we need to begin our descent in um, about two minutes. And I usually like to try to do that a bit early, just to give me time to work out the kinks. And so I'm going to go ahead and set our... There we go, we want to be at 11,000 feet. We're going to arm that. And let's see, it looks like we have about 20 gallons of fuel left. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. I do really dig the, uh, the snowy weather here. I like that a lot. I like winter textures. You can see that giant lake, which means that we are headed over that way. We're going to come out uh, sort of in front of the lake and then descend. And there is my one minute warning, so I'm going to go ahead and hit vertical speed and drop it to 500 feet a minute downward, and we can probably uh, we'll keep the prop where it is. We can probably come off the fuel even more. No, nope, manifold pressure is going up. We're good. We're good. So last time, I got to this part of the descent, and then X plane crashed, uh, and I was not terribly happy about that. Now. We should see this VSR number decrease once we hit our speed target, and it is not. So that means that we're um, accelerating, which is suboptimal. So I'm going to go ahead and go down one more, and we should see this. We should see this number start to decrease. Um, theoretically. Doing good things. Alright, and right about here it loaded the next chunk and crashed. Uh, and it made me very sad. Alright, and we're actually going quite quickly. I'm going to go ahead and throttle back just a little bit. We don't need to be carrying 140 knots of airspeed, right? Because we're just going to have to lose it soon anyway. Take a look at our VNAV plot. We're doing okay there. And shortly we should see ourselves start to bank. 253. Go ahead and do that this way, just in case it doesn't. It should, but if it doesn't, I can do it myself. And, now. and there it goes. All right. All right. So Zibiv will be our next waypoint, and when we get there again, we want to be at 11,000 feet, and we actually really would like to be going a little bit slower, I think. So I'm throttling back quite a bit. caught us just a little bit, but that's okay. We're still doing what we're doing, and we're still not descending. I still want to go to 11,000 feet, thank you very much. There we go, get our descent on. Are we bottoming out our trim? like that might be the case. Arm that. Vertical speed. Well, let's break through this. Okay, we broke through it. We don't need to keep breaking through. There we go. Now 
Zibiv is two minutes away, and we are descending at 700 feet a minute. We have 1,400 feet to go. This wind is fighting it, so I guess I will just use the stick. We go ahead and throttle back, and it'll be nice when we get down to about 100 knots. But to do that, I need to descend more than I am, you know? Maybe I can pull the prop back a little bit, and that'll help. There we go. There we go, there's 11,000 feet. And we haven't even made it to Zibiv yet. That works for me. Trim that for level flight, and I'll go ahead and ask you to hold that altitude for me, please. Thank you very much. And that should also slow us, which is important, because I want to be going slower. And then from Zibiv, we want to go down to Zosov. We want to be at 9,800 at Zosov. 9,800. I think I want to do this descent at about 100 knots. Um, so we'll continue to bleed off airspeed as we approach. We should actually probably be uh, not quite nose high at this speed. Alright. This will be the longest single segment of this um, of this approach. It's uh, an eight mile um, leg, eight, almost almost nine mile leg from uh, Dunoir to Zibiv. But from Zibiv on, they're all you know four four mile uh, legs. So they will be going quickerly, <laughs> which is not a word I know. Want to go ahead and arm that. If we can do it with vertical speed, we're going to do it with vertical speed. If we can't, then we won't, you know? Alright, there's my 100 knots. That's what I was looking for, so I'm going to go ahead and actually give us a bit more power.
far back as the prop will let me go. Um, but there we have hit a thousand, so that's good. Because uh, again, I need to go I need to go almost two thousand feet a minute for this descent. So I'll throttle it back even further. And uh, I may need to nose her up to drop the speed enough to get my flaps out. Centered the trim and flaps one. There's Zosev. Uh, so we should have been at 9,800. Actually, we made it. All right, we need to be at 8,700 for Wamru. Because now that we have the flaps out, we... Oh, one button. One of these. Well, there we go. Now that we have flaps out, we're going to quickly be able to uh, reduce speed. And descending at 600 feet a minute. Uh, will get us to... Let's see. Wamru is here. And we want to be at 8,700. Oh, yeah. We're fine. In fact, we're probably descending a little bit too fast. Set us to 8,700. Arm that. I'm going to bring in a bit more prop. That should pull out some of our vertical speed. Seven hundred a minute in advance, so we should have been descending at about 300 feet a minute. Now, from here to Yasku, we need to drop 700 feet. All right, and we are leveling off at 8,700 feet. There, that is. All right, light up. Or it is lit up. Okay, so it's captured 8,700 feet. We're going to go to 8,000 feet. Yasku, so we have to cross Wamru before we can do that. I feel very weird saying these, by the way. Oh, we are quite nose high, and we are going slower than I mean to. So I'm going to bring in a second notch of flaps, which, there we go, that should push the nose down. And a little bit more power. Let's see how we look right now. Look pretty good. I think we look pretty good. Oh, let's see, do I want to drop my flaps one more notch? Um, after Wamru we will. At Wamru we will be... Five miles out. That seems reasonable, I think. And there we go. Crossing Wamru. Actually, considering how this plane sheds speed if you want it to, I, I mean, we could probably pull our flaps all the way up and still make the landing, but we're obviously not going to. We just passed Wamru, so we're going to arm that. Vertical speed. Call it 400 feet a minute. And that should do it for us at this point. I think we're just going to hand fly this thing. Um, so the flaps full. Which this thing has so much flap. So much flap.
actually. There we go. That looks like a decent shot. And now I guess the rest of this is going to be on me. I'm going to turn off that. And that. I do want the goddamn uh, on. And now suddenly I feel very high. Because I am very high. Luckily, with all the flaps this plane has, it's going to be okay. That's fine, because like I said, I felt like we were high. Uh, in fact, we're all white right now, uh, if you look at the pappy. So we will continue to send at 800 feet per minute. Um, we are... we're going to be okay. Um, let's see, and I really am having to fight with this a little bit, so I need to trim a bit better. Sync rate's a little bit excessive, so I'll add a bit more throttle. But theoretically, I should be able to land this thing with just the trim and the throttle. Uh, without, you know, having to pull back on the stick or push forward on the stick or any of that crap. Um, there we go. Nice, slow, 70 knot approach. too much uh, nose down, so I'm just going to go ahead and modify that a bit. And it's funny, because when you're flying in like a passenger plane, this always seems to go by so quickly, but when you're, when you're hand flying it, even in real life, uh, the approach feels like it takes forever and no time, all at the same time. But I'm pretty happy with this approach. Um, I feel I feel pretty confident that I am on the glide slope. Um, especially since this is an RNAV approach, so it's, it's non-precision. There is no real glide slope. Um, there is, however, the, the idealized idea of a glide slope. I wonder, does this plane have a reverser? I don't think it does. Alright, and there we go. Two red, two white. That means that we are on the glide slope. I am having to hold just a little bit of right aileron to keep this thing uh, centered on the runway, but... We're doing good. We are doing good. Oh, and the tower just popped into into view. Again, I've been screwing around with things to try to get uh, the best frame rate so that I could record stuff for you guys uh, without it being ugly. Cause I don't know if you guys are watching for the, the visuals. I don't know if you're watching to hear me fucking prattle on about nothing. Um, I don't know. So I try to have an even mix of all of it. Visuals and me prattling on about fucking nothing. Alright. I'm going to add just a bit more throttle. Um, there we go. We were just we had a little bit too much sink. There we go. Now we have not enough sink, but that's okay. Yeah, we're good. Uh, mix 
except for our actually being lined up with the center line, which is not as good. And now we're a little bit high, but that's okay. There we go. I feel like we did, you know, this fantastic approach, and I'm gonna fucking biff it right now. Boy, would I be upset with that. Alright, trim, 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 and there we go, we're down. We're just going to go ahead and roll it out. And we don't even need to roll that far. Let's go ahead and taxi this thing. I'll pull up my uh, pull up my flaps all the way. Get out of the movement area, or get off the runway and into a movement area. And there we go. I'll go ahead and crack off the landing lights. Oh, that would have been embarrassing. Nice touchdown like that, and we friggin' screw it up at the last minute. That's, that's sort of my MO though, isn't it? Uh, I'll keep the beacon on. Oh, the fuel pump was on the whole time. Alright. Let's see, this is Jackson Hole. Welcome to Jackson Hole, by the way. There's the tower. And here is... I honestly have no idea what the hell that is. No idea. Uh, but you know what, we're going to park by this United jet, because I like United. And, let's see... Apply some brakes. And over we go. Now we have to go ahead and we go ahead and kill the engine and somewhere I need to find the parking brake because we need to set the parking brake the alternate static source beacon avionics are off turn that off. There we go, parking brake is set, and I thought I turned my avionics off, there it is. So now I should be able to open up X Economy, finish my flight, and there you go. Uh, so I've finished the flight, and now if we go over to FS Economy, real quick, I apparently closed the tab, sorry about that. Um, log in real quick. And here you go. So I have slightly more money now. And if I go to the group, I should be able to tell that my group has more money too because my, actually, where is it? Uh, banking. Here we go. Wait, no, not banking. Um, no, I don't want banking. Assignments, aircraft. Well, screw it. <laughs> oh wait, payment logs. Um, so you can see I got my $646 payment fee, and the rest of it goes over to um, to the group. So at this point, uh, I can actually close this, and I would like to really see that replay. What do you guys think? I'll go replay mode. That seemed like a fantastic landing. Of course, you don't know until you see it. We're going to pause this. Move that out. Hit play. 
Yeah, that didn't suck. That was a nice three-point landing. Now, three points are less impressive in a tricycle airplane than, like, a tail dragger, but I'm going to take it. So, all right, thank you very much for watching. Um, I would encourage you to please join my FS Economy group if you're so inclined. Um, expect Season 2 to start soon, and, um, yeah, catch you guys around. Au revoir.